All right, I'll call this meeting to order. Start with the consent agenda. All the following items which concern reports and items of a routine <coughs> nature normally approved at AHA meetings. Will be approved by one vote unless any trustee desires. We have a separate vote on any or all these items. The consent agenda consists of a discussion, consideration, and action on the following items. Minutes of the monthly finance meeting on November 23rd, 2015. Minutes of the monthly trust trustee meeting on November 24th, 2015. Minutes of the monthly finance meeting on December 15th, 2015. A check report, November 8th, 2015 through December 7th, 2015. And a check report, December 8th, 2015 through January 7th, 2016. I move that we approve the consent agenda as listed in the agenda. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Hala Simon to approve the consent agenda as it is presented. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Stein? Yes. Okay, next is CEO's report, Candace. All right, my report, and I'm going straight to the second page. Um, on the EH, EHR, we are prepared um, to attest for meaningful use. This will be for stage three, and it'll be right around approximately $500,000, somewhere around that. Um, so after we attest, it should be approximately 90 days before we receive that payment. So great job to all the staff for getting us ready to do that. Um, recently interviewed two family practice residents. Uh, we felt like one was particularly interested, a, a female, that um, she is two and a half years out. Mm -hmm. So we're hopeful that um, we're hopeful to get at least one of those two. Strategic planning with SSM, board members, department managers, and approximately 10 guests from the community will be held at the Career Tech on January the 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. and we will serve dinner and look forward to seeing you there. Uh, Dr. Smith and Lindsay head the PA. Uh, the clinic is open downtown in the professional building. Last week, uh, we were able to get the photography from Jim Ritchie hung on the walls. It's really nice. Uh, so if you see Jim, give him a pat on the back. Kudos for, for that. He um, made a huge donation for us to do that. Um, we, we paid for the materials. He donated the rest of it, all of the labor and the art. So that it looks really nice. Um, we're hoping to, in the near future, maybe do, try to get on the art walk, maybe on one of the Friday art walks to do an open house and show, showcase it. So um, this month our quality team has started a new webinar series <coughs> uh, aiming to improve our HCAP scores. And we are currently working on cleanliness of the facility. And the staff will receive more information and training on that um, tomorrow, actually. We'll begin that. So that's all I have. Unless somebody's got questions for me. Somebody have any questions for Candace? Probably the most important thing you didn't list on there is that you had your last chemo treatment. Oh, I did. Yay. I did. I had my last chemo treatment right before <laughs> Christmas. So that was such a relief not to have to go back there. So, yes, I'm feeling, I was telling them today at finance, uh, last Monday I was whining still that, oh, I was just struggling to make it through the day. I had talked to one of our consultants that had breast cancer six years ago. <coughs> Said, Darlene, tell me, when does this go away? I just struggle to make it through the day. And she said, oh, Candace, like, it took me like three years. And I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to happen. And lo and behold, the next day, it was like a light went off. And I was just, had all the energy in the world. And it went all day, every day since. So anyway, it was an answered prayer is what that was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm feeling, I feel a lot better. Thank you. And here's 2016 being much better. Absolutely, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't make a very good patient, do I? <laughs> <laughs> just, hip up. just sit hip up. there. Hip up. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> okay, I still need a motion, though, to approve her report. I move that we approve the CEO's report. A second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Darlene Sanderson to approve uh, the Share Medical Center written report for January 19, 2016. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Signed. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Candace. Next is the CFO's report. Kevin? Yes. <clears throat> if you guys will flip over to December's uh, report, um, just to let you know that uh, we had operating cash balance in December of $122,194, and that represented 3.6 days uh, of operating expense, excluding depreciation. Our accounts receivable balance was $2,540,961, or a decrease $75,489 from the prior month. Gross days are 60.1 in December compared to 59 days in November. Our net days are at 46.9 in December compared to 46.8. Uh, our accounts payable balance of outstanding claims at the end of December was $613,095, and that represents 47.5 days in operating expenses. Our gross uh, patient revenue for the month totaled $1,628,974. That was an increase over November of 212,351. Uh, the hospital seen the largest part of that increase, it increased by 163,297. The nursing home increased by $36,101, and the homestead increased by $12,953. Our patient days for December and November were identical at 38 days. Our hospice days uh, grew by nine. We went from 87 in November to 96 in December. Our total clinic office visits for December was 1,272 compared to 1,185 in November. And our nursing home average daily census for December was 52 compared to 47.9 in November. Our contractuals, uh, less bad debts, were 55.3% for the month of December. We wrote off $99,593 to the collection agency. And we gave away $2,286 in charity care. Our operating expense, excluding salaries and benefits, totaled $392,940, or an increase of $72,525 compared to the prior month. Uh, <clears throat> salaries and wages also increased $26,500, and then went to $541,916. We had a net operating loss from all three operations of $318,031, and even with sales tax and donations and stuff, we ended up with a net loss for December of $230,433. Uh, <clears throat> to give you an idea, if you flip over to page four, is our combined income statement. You can see uh, year to date we're about $400,000, about $340,000 more in gross revenue than we were last year at $9,804,000. Um, but actually, what we expect to collect is only up about $43,000. We only expect to collect out of that $5,288,619. Last year at this time, we had a net profit after all operations and stuff and sales tax of 482669 Currently, year to date, we're at $733,560 net loss. But remember, last year we had the, the EHR money, which was almost $800,000 that we received last year. So uh, we are doing worse than we were last year, but that's the reason we see such a big difference between the two years side to side. Next page shows you the hospital by itself. We did post that $1,307,345. Uh, from operations, we lost $300,265. And after sales tax and donations, the hospital by itself lost $213,692. The nursing home, uh, like I said, did see that increase of $36,000 to 244,912, but after all their expenses, they still continue to see a loss of $34,793 from operations. The homestead um, uh, showed a net profit of $18,052. Uh, the next page is, of course, the accounts receivable. You know, they stayed pretty much steady from prior months. There's nothing there to be too much to talk about. And then uh, the final few pages is our statistics sheet, which is 
shows uh, the volume changes from year to year. And we did talk about that today, a little bit about the different changes in volumes and stuff, looking at that moving forward. So. Are there any questions for Kevin? Let's talk about <clears throat> in uh, finance that uh, just looking for other ways to uh, other revenue streams uh, and other areas that uh, we could look at uh, if there was places where expenses could be shored up so that. Uh, uh, to maybe make those bottom lines look better. So uh, that'll just be something that's been ongoing. Any other comments, discussion? If not, Kevin will move to the next item. Uh, call it call it be yeah, it's also underneath the finance. Uh, <clears throat> packet it's almost at the very back of it it's, it's you have to flip it back a few pages it's got I've got all the different uh, quotes from the different vendors we looked at three different vendors uh, just so you know the colonoscopy equipment we've had we've had for a long long time it's very outdated and we definitely need uh, to improve that it's more of a digital system it's not digital at all and to make that change we went out to look at both new and used equipment and um, we got some quotes. We got a quote from Fuji, Olympus, and DRE, DRE which is a used uh, vendor as well. Um, after reviewing all the information and stuff, uh, you can see the Fuji was 89198 the Olympus was 112185 and the used was 61570 uh, What we thought would be best for the facility was not to go with the used equipment because it was a generation back other than what we put, what the new equipment would be, so we'd already be several years behind with that. We uh, recommendation is to go with the Fuji of 89,198, and its new equipment would give us a couple of scopes as well. Uh, we do have, just so you know, uh, still money from whenever the sales tax was earmarked for capital equipment of 58,298, which we are going to use for that. I talked with Kelly; he thinks there is going to be. Uh, he thinks about ten thousand uh, dollars that we can get from the foundation. The rest will finance out, of, or will actually take out of our operations. But uh, my recommendation uh, to move forward is to purchase the colonoscopy equipment from Fuji of eighty-nine thousand one ninety-eight. Well, we we will own that outright. Outright, it will be yeah, okay. And um, the current equipment we have, you can't get parts for. Can't, yeah, it's. So is it worth anything on any type of trade in or? Yeah, I mean, that's. Salvage value of any type? No, no, no. No. There's nothing there that's a value because it's so outdated. Okay. Is the training done by them sending someone here? Yes, someone here, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, <coughs> I guess there'd be thought that with new and better equipment, we could possibly do more. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes. And, th and Dr. Ransom has looked at this equipment because he's the one that's going to be using it, and this is what his recommendation would be as well. Okay. Are there any questions? And Dr. Ransom has added a day and will is willing to add. Um, more as volume increases. Um, he added Monday, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday um, was an extra day for him. So. Any other questions? Mr. Chairman, I have a motion that we approve the uh, purchase <coughs> of the colonoscopy equipment. Second. Okay, make that one. Can you uh, add Fuji? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Which the one? Fuji uh, equipment for the new price of $89,198. <coughs> Excuse me.
Okay, I have a motion by Terry Klein. Who seconded that? Okay. So, I have a motion uh, by Terry Klein, a second by Hala Simon for the approval of the purchase of the Fuji colonoscopy equipment for $89,198. Mr. Chairman, just for the record, the uh, <coughs> low bid was 61570 from the DRE, but that was, if I understand it, an older model. It was. And uh -huh. also a model that was not recommended by the doctor who would be primarily using that. Correct. Uh -huh. that and did not come with training. Okay. That just needs to be included as part of our record. Okay, very good. <coughs> Any other discussion? If not, roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Simon? Yes. Okay. <coughs> the next item is the e clinical software. And if you'll flip a little bit before that, there's about uh, 10 pages of a contract. What we're looking at is for our physicians to have electronic health records in their offices, and I just need your approval. It's a 60-month uh, contract, and it's $650 per provider that uses it per month. Uh, we're not up any hardware cost up front. Uh, Meditech and eClinicals has worked together, and we've got an interface for our, our lab from our actual Meditech system will flow into the physicians' uh, clinicals as well. And we're trying to, you know, make that a, a smooth transition. But we definitely need to um, <clears throat> move forward. It also lets us meet the PQRS uh, standards uh, every year. It's a standards that the, that's really mostly done by software, but we don't have the, the staff time to do it by hand. That they'll be answering and they'll print out reports. They'll save us a two percent reduction every year in Medicare reimbursement. Uh, by having this software as well. So it's, it's, it's going to help our physicians and help our reimbursement in the long run. So my recommendation is to, for us to move forward with this contract. Like I said, it's $649 uh, per, per provider per month, and, and there's five providers. So it's roughly $3,250 a month, but there's no other hardware that we have to purchase. So. So, and, and Kevin, I'm just in reading down here, that was if we signed by October 2015. Right. The, the, they're they going to hold, that? yeah, they'll hold that for us. Okay. And, and uh, if we were to need to get out of this contract, probably are out. There probably is no out. We would have to make that commitment for five years, but I don't think we're going to find any other software that's going to let us in. From we looked, just so you know, we looked at four different vendors. We got down to these two. We had the physicians look at it as well with us, and this is the recommendation we've got to get to electronic health records. Okay. So. And they are well recognized. They're Dr. Like, Kinsey, had a. You want to tell them about that? Yeah, I actually um, went and looked to see what. E clinical works rated um, and in, in medical economics had just done a big survey of EHRs in the office and e clinical works was solidly in the top five in all sorts of areas in being able to report in billing in uh, documenting um, so they weren't number one um, so I asked Kevin to look at number one, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but unfortunately they don't uh, provide service in Oklahoma. So uh, I thought the top, solidly in the top five in, in all areas seemed pretty good. And it was nice also that we didn't have to buy a lot of hardware that we could just buy this ongoing contract um, <coughs> instead of a big right. commitment. There, there is a kind of buyout provision under the automatic renewal where it says if customer <coughs> cancels prior to expiration of this term, is responsible for $100 per provider per month for the remaining months of the agreement and a $5,000 one time cancellation fee. Yeah. So that it's possible if you. So it's better than $650 a month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are there any other questions in regards to 
this program? And just so you know, um, Meditech does not really have a solution that's viable for us to use. That's why we're not um, staying with Meditech for the physician offices. And the big part about not having all this purchasing additional what? hardware or software. Yeah. All right. If there's no other discussion, I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, contract of eClinical software at the price of $649 per FTE. Second. Yeah, that's what it is for provider. Did you change that to provider? To provider, not yeah. full time equivalent. Yeah, for mm -hmm. that's what they mean is by FTs that providers. Yeah. So. That was Klein <coughs> and Simon. I have a motion by Terry Klein, a second by Hala Simon. To approve the contract of eClinical software for $649 a month per provider. Roll call vote, please. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. And Simon? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Next, Dr. Kinsey. Um, first, let's do the agenda in minutes. Um, the uh, medical staff met on <coughs> Thursday, January 14th. Um, we discussed the, the patient uh, portal, approved the old minutes. Uh, we, there was not really much to discuss. Um, in old business or new business, so we went right on to appointment of medical staff. Um, there was a long list of medical staff to appoint, and I'll just explain what's going on here. The first person is Dr. Carrie Williams. She's a family practitioner who is a from our locum tenens agency and will be working in our emergency room. Um, she is actually working here in our hospital. All of the other providers are radiologists. They work for the new radiology company who... After Hours Radiology. After Hours Radiology. Yeah. Um, after yeah. Hours Radiology Company it's, because... It's a diagnostic our, imaging associate. There you go. Thank you. DIA, mm -hmm. Diagnostic Imaging Associates, uh, because our old company went out of business, so we had to find a new provider. So all of these people could potentially be reading our x-rays at night. Um, and so we have to approve them all. They are all uh, credentialed on their staff, and we recommended that all of them be credentialed. So I'm going to go through them one by one. And there you go. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff, Dr. Carrie Williams, family practice. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second uh, by Dr. <laughs> Brown to appoint to courtesy staff, Carrie Williams, family practice. Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Simon? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Stephen Back, DO radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy <coughs> staff Dr. Stephen Back, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. 
Sanderson? Yes. And Simon? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Damon Brooks, DO, radiologist. Second. Broke it up here. I was starting to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to mess things up, man. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Darlene Sanderson to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Damon Brooks, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, Marcus please. Brooks. Or no, we're on Damon yeah. Brooks. Sorry. Gasper? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Klein? Yes. yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Simon? Yes. Brown? Yes. I <laughs> Cover it up right. as you go. Thank you. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Marcus Brown, MD, radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Marcus Brown, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasford? Yes. Klein? Yes. Hanford? Oh. Yes. Sanders? Yes. yes. Simon? Yes. Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Nicholas Bull, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Nicholas Bull, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Okay. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Bo Yan Choi, DO radiologist. Sir. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Bo Yon Choi, the uh, radiologist. <laughs> Roll call vote, please. Simon? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. And Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Kelly Cole, MD, radiologist. A second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Darlene Sanderson to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Kelly Cole, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. John Dennis, DO, radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. John Dennis, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Klein? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Carol Dentino, MD, radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Carol Dentino, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Klein? Yes. Simon? Yes. And Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. George Erbacher, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. George Erbacher, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Sanderson? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Simon? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Kyle Flowers, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Kyle Flowers, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Dean Fullingham, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Dean Fullingham, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. And Simon? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Jerry Fullingham, DO radiologist. Jeremy? Second. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, second by Dr. Brown, to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Jeremy Fulligan, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Simon? Yes. Klein? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Troy Gonzalez, MD, radiologist. Second. 
Have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint Curtis staff Dr. Troy Gonzalez, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Stanley Handel, MD, radiologist. Second. Have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Stanley Handel, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Nina Jones, MD, radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Nina Jones, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Klein? Yes. Simon? Yes. And Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint courtesy staff Dr. Usha Kanaka Mandala, MD, radiologist. Second. <laughs> I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Usha Kamandala, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Simon? Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint courtesy staff, Dr. Jonathan. Hold on one second. You didn't get the hail left. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. I move that we appoint courtesy staff, Dr. Jonathan Kirkland, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint courtesy staff, Dr. Jonathan Kirkland, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Timothy McKay, DO radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Timothy McKay, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Peter Mostert, DO radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Peter Mostert, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. And Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Eric Mukala, DO radiologist. Second. We have, a doc, we have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint <laughs> courtesy staff Dr. Eric Mukala, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint courtesy staff Dr. Randy Niblett, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Randy Niblett. MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Gasper? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Ralph Noah, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Ralph Noah, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Sanderson? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint courtesy staff Dr. Patrick O'Hare, DO radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Patrick O'Hare, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Vaughn? Yes. Brown? Yes. And Sanderson? Yes. I move that we appoint courtesy staff Dr. Felino Pascal, DO radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Felino Pascal, DO radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. <laughs> I move that we appoint courtesy staff Dr. James Pham, DO radiologist. Second. 
We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint the courtesy staff, Dr. James Fong, DO, radiologist. Jackson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Michelle Ponder, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Michelle Ponder, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Gasford? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Klein? Yes. And Brown? Yes. Oh, I move that we appoint the courtesy staff. Dr. Daniel C., DO, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint the courtesy staff. Dr. Daniel C., DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Sanderson? Yes. Gasford? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Klein? Yes. And Brown? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Jeffrey Shelton, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Jeffrey Shelton, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Gasford? Yes. Klein? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Tanacorn Songroom, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Tanacorn Sungroup, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Mm -hmm. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Sheila Tabor, DO, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, point to courtesy staff, Dr. Sheila Tabor, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff, Dr. Chris Basilio, DO, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff, Dr. Chris Basilio, D.O. Radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Kinsey? Yes. Brown? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. And Gasper? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Donald von Borstel, D.O. Radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Donald von Borstel, D.O. D.O. Radiologist. <laughs> Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Gasford? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Just as a side note, I talked to Dr. Walton the other day. He was awesome. <laughs> I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. John Walton, DO, radiologist. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. John Walton, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Jessica Weber, DO, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Jessica Weber, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Brown? Yes. Gasper? Yes. Klein? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Brooke White, DO, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Brooke White, DO, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Brown? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Klein? Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Judith Wolfstein, MD, radiologist. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Judith Wolfstein, MD, radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Gasper? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Yes. I move that we appoint to courtesy staff Dr. Hubi Yoon, DO, radiologist. 
I have a motion by Dr. Kenzie, a second by Dr. Brown, to appoint courtesy staff Dr. Hubi Yoon, the O radiologist. Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Brown? Yes. Kenzie? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Gasper? Yes. <clears throat> now we need to go back through and do delineation of privileges for all of these <laughs> providers. <Tonight. laughs> Maybe another 16 minutes, if you're wondering. <laughs> it's not on the agenda. We're not <laughs> but it'd be so fun. <laughs> I thought I did fairly decent. Thank you for and besides that, isn't that the word Jason can't pronounce? Uh, that would really be rough. <laughs> <laughs> the phonics did not work. <laughs> Do you have anything else for us, Dr. No, that would be it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next is the quality assurance process improvement, the QAPI. That should be under QAPI tab. Nothing specifically, just as I said, we, we started a new webinar series to address trying to improve our HCAP scores overall. We broke it down. In It'll take us, I think it was six months to get through the webinar series. So just trying to work on some areas. There's nothing that was alarming or everything's in compliance. Yes. Okay. That would be for all of those areas. Okay. Uh, infection control, safety, pharmacy, therapeutics. All of that's covered in puppy. Okay. And all the reviews. Okay. Does anybody have any questions in regards to the coffee report? on the quality assurance process improvement. We will move to the improvement to patient care. First item is the contract review of quality evaluation. That's the very last page in the uh, that section of patient care. We have three, it's actually, it says three contracts, it's actually only two contracts. Northwest PT was in there twice, but, yeah. so, but they weren't compliance. Both times. Both and times. It says performed by Janet. Yeah. And they're trying to get that. Um, it's a, a program error. It's a programming error. It shouldn't <laughs> be showing up like that, and they can't figure out why it keeps coming back. Right. They, they're working on it. Okay. The next item is the approval or disapproval of the Diagnostic Imaging Associates Incorporated. That's the contract for what is the... For the radiologist. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm seeing. It's in the patient care item. <clears throat> it's after the standing order. It's about three or four pages into it. Let's say have the radiologist listed, and then the contract. Yeah. Says this agreement is entered into between Shared Medical Center and. No. 
needs to be a check. We've only done that every contract. DBA, SMC. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll fix that. Yeah. Do they all Rick, is that something we can just. You can just approve the contract subject to the correction on the Okay. Or addition. Actually, it's not a correction, it's an addition. So parties. there's the memorandum of <coughs> understanding, and then there's the radiology services provider agreement. So both of those would need to be amended. Well, our old radiologist, oh, this is just the night radiologist. Never mind. Right. Forget it. I don't know how many questions that's on there. Right? So there's So I would entertain a motion then that would include in the making corrections from Share Medical Center to doing business with uh, Share Medical Center DBA. No, AHA doing business as Share Medical Center. <coughs> Make a motion that we approve the agreements, uh, the diagnostic imaging associates after amending to state the agreement is between AHA, DBA, Share Medical Center as needed. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Dr. Brown and a second by Terry Klein to approve the agreement with Diagnostic Imaging Associates Inc. with the amendments to the agreements uh, that should read um, doing business with AHA, uh, doing business as Share Medical Center. For needed. Roll call vote, please. Klein? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Brown? Yes. Kinson? Yes. And Gasper? Yes. Next is the surgery order sets. The first thing. The first yeah. thing after <laughs> patient care. Right there. Um, the surgery order sets are simply collections of orders that are put into the computer as a set of orders. They're, they're nothing new. They're nothing special. They just get put in as a set. And whenever we do that, we have to have that approved by the board. It's a very strange requirement, but it's required. Um, we've looked through them. I mean, they're just regular standard orders. And the, the medical staff has recommended that these be uh, approved. So I move that we approve the surgery order sets. Second. We have a motion by Dr. Kinsey, a second by Darlene Sanderson to approve the surgery order sets. Roll call vote, please. Gaston? Yes. Klein? Yes. Sanderson? Yes. Kinsey? Yes. Yes. All right. 
Thanks to all. Uh, next is the share convalescent home report. Rita? We said it was Christmas, and we all know it's busy at Christmas. Um, there was a couple of things that happened. Um, this happened in the past that we hate. We had the flu go through in December, so we were unable to have our resident uh, family Christmas party. However, um, I think we got, my goal was to get everybody as well as possible so we could have a nice Christmas dinner and they were, they did do that, it was normal. And families, um, we had plenty of families there. On December 17th, um, we entertained the Red Hat Society. I believe we had about 32. Um, we always have a good time with them there. They ask if they could come back every month. So <laughs> that was a good compliment. And uh, of course, they're a little wild. You gotta watch them. And then, um, as Kevin reported, our census had increased um, from November. It really got low in November. It has increased. And it stayed pretty steady through January also. Um, our skilled beds were up. Um, they had doubled, actually a little bit more than doubled. So um, we're just trying to stay busy. All the kids are back from school. So we're trying to get them uh, focused back on school and work. And just trying to stay busy. We're now working on trying to do set up our candlelight dinner. And our theme this year is Gay Curry, and we'll send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Do you have any questions? Any questions for Rita? If not, thank you, Rita. No, thanks. Are you going to be singing? No, no, I don't sing and I don't dance. Climbing? No. I, I will serve the wine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelly is not here for a homestead report or a foundation report. Does anybody else know if anything else that needs to be reported? I know that we had a, a handout. Hand hand uh, I have that here. From the foundation. A summary of their costs and expenses for the last year. Next item is the St. Anthony's report. Okay. Bridget? Um, we kind of scooted some papers toward you while we were going through the extensive list of radiologists. So. <laughs> Please snack them in there. Um, I just gave you a copy of the newsletter so you can kind of see a little bit what's going on in the network news. Um, I also gave you a copy of um, a rendering of the new pavilion um, that's being built. Um, Kyle told me that it's supposed to open May 26th. He's confident, so he's saying that date. Um, so we hope that does come true. Um, you can see that it, on the first floor, um, it'll extend our emergency room um, basically to 38 beds, 34 of them being exam, two trauma, and two triage rooms. Um, which is desperately needed. Um, there are certainly times when we have 12 or 15 patients kind of piled up in the emergency room waiting for beds, and so we will certainly love having the additional space. And the second floor is going to be a step-down unit. Um, that actually, we have a step-down unit right now, which is in the main hospital, but we'll move it over um, into, the, into the new pavilion. Um, mainly because the third and fourth floor are going to be ICU beds, so it'll be a nice, easy transition once they come out of ICU to go just downstairs to the um, to the um, step down unit. So um, it's going to be really nice and help organize and make things a little bit more efficient and productive when we get it open. Um, the unfortunate thing is, is that we will add 16 additional ICU beds, which are desperately needed. Most of our diverts um, for this year have been for ICU um, because we've got some really sick people that are coming up to the hospital. Um, we would certainly like to have more acute beds along with that, and it will come in due time. The area that is in step down that's moving over to the new pavilion will remodel those rooms and eventually we'll have rooms, but that'll be kind of a phase two project for us. So we're not sure exactly when those beds would be open. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you a little summary of the new pavilion. So 
Um, also gave you just kind of a year to date and just so you know kind of what's going on in the Saints First affiliate network where our transfers are coming from. I think you know this year we were um, working with St. Mary's to do an extension of the Saints First program. Um, down at the bottom of the sheet is where you'll see we do the Saints First program with Shawnee and we also do it with Enid. Um, it's, it's slow to get started. I think a lot, when we started looking statistically, a lot of the hospitals um, that traditionally had um, sent patients over to St. Mary's um, are probably following the same processes that they were before, so they're not going through the access center. If they go, don't go through the access center, then we don't know to track the numbers, which is absolutely fine. If they have a process that works, that's fine, and if they want to use the access center, that's fine too. So that's, we're in process um, of trying to, to help that come along. Um, I think I mentioned when we first started that, that you know, it took us a while to kind of get things um, straight and solidified at St. Anthony's. It's gonna take them a little bit at St. Mary's too. It's just a, it's a big culture change um, to just say, come on and, and deal with it on the back end. So we'll continue to, to work through to make sure that that's a healthy program as well. Um, the other thing I gave you is just the cardiology card, just so that y'all would know that um, one of the things that we worked on last year, and um, our Saints First program has been very successful for all of our services, but we had a little bit of a, a downfall in cardiology, and, and maybe not so much, we just had a lot more competition against us in the cardiology field, and so we were not as easy as a lot of other people were being easy. So OU was making it easy, Oklahoma Heart's been making it easy for a long time. Um, so we, the group consolidated, um, so they've made a commitment um, that the Saints First will work the way that it was intended to work, and so I think we've seen some success with that over the last 60 days. Um, so I just wanted to let y'all know that we're gonna continue to work on the cardiology front. Um, as I said, I think we do a, a fairly good job in all of our other specialty areas. Sometimes we have some hiccups with orthopedics, but we continue through a review process to make sure that we understand that we take those and then if there's a, an issue on the back end, then we just review them um, with the facility. And if there's a, a mistake that's been made on our side or theirs, then we just hope that we don't repeat that. But our motto certainly is to take and ask questions later. So we're certainly working on that to make sure we stay true to our program. Um, like um, Candace said, we do have um, strategic planning coming up next week, so we look forward to strategizing with y'all for the next year, see which direction we need to go in. It is a, it's a hard year in healthcare. I think we all realize that, and there's lots of changes um, that are gonna happen this year, and so it'll be a, it'll be a challenging year. Not that y'all haven't had challenging years before, but um, we'll certainly all work together um, we're looking forward to the medical staff retreat, um, which is the first week in February. Dr. Kinsey and Candace will be joining us at the medical staff retreat. Um, I think, I haven't seen the agenda yet, but based on conversations that I've heard, I think there's some good information that's gonna pass along at that meeting as well. Um, we always look forward to having a breakout session um, with the rural affiliates and work on our goals for 2016. Um, we also are working on um, getting some HCAT. So it looks like y'all are internally doing some things, but a lot of the affiliate hospitals have asked for some HCAPs and patient satisfaction education, um, and we do that on a regular basis up at St. Anthony's. So um, since it was requested this year, um, Candace was nice enough to say that we could use some of her space for a, a Northwest hub, and hopefully some of the hospitals can come out and we can do some patient satisfaction training. <coughs> we use some of the tools that we currently use at St. Anthony's as well. Um, and I'll be working with a lot of the CEOs this year to try to encourage them to use some of the education opportunities. I think the more I get ingrained in understanding my job, I, it's been a learning, I, I learn something new every day, it seems like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I had no idea we had that. So when I find out we had it, I try to push it out to everybody and say, certainly take advantage of that. And one of the things I did not, I mean, I'm not sure why I didn't know that we didn't do it, but um, we do the CAPE training, the edit training, which is basically some de-escalation for um, psych patients. Um, so we do that on campus um, on a regular basis, actually every month. 
and so you can get a certification even if you wanted to if not just some basic de-escalation process for your emergency room patients or even when they come in the clinic if you need you need those skills so we'll make sure that that's available to everybody and if we need to do kind of a northwest type thing then we'll do that as well and bring it out so we want to try to really focus on some education opportunities this year as well so i think that's all i had unless y'all have any particular questions any questions for bridget no, Bridget, thank you. Yep. And again, just, uh, I'll piggyback on that about uh, next Wednesday, uh, from 5 to 8 at the Career Tech um, for strategic planning. Please how, plan to be there. How, Tamara will remind you guys next week what kind of time frame prior to that do you, do you want her to remind you the day before, the day of? Two days before? 4.30. 4.30 the day The day before and at 4.30? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next Wednesday, it's 27. 27? 8. 5 days. Okay. And have we posted that? No. We need to post that as a... Uh, Non, well, how is that? I mean, non, non, I mean, business, business. Yeah, I don't, just, just a like training session. session. No, training. no action will be taken. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just on, the, on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll need to be posted by Monday. Just like you post the board meeting, all those places. Okay. It's a special. Special meeting. All right. Thank you, Bridget. Welcome. Thank you. So the day of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on the day of. Thank you, Nathan. I I don't know. What do you guys think? Day. Email, phone call. Text. Text. All of the works great for me. Text text email, me. text, either one. Okay. Okay. Bo is not here for City Council report. I do not have anything other than next Wednesday evening, in which you'll receive a text that day. <laughs> <laughs> there are no other items of new business, so we are adjourned.